Thousands lined the streets of the Chilean capital, Santiago, to greet the Pope's arrival on Monday. Then, on his first full day in the country, flanked by Chilean President Michel Bachelet and other officials, Pope Francis asked for forgiveness. Here, I feel bound to express my pain and shame, the shame that I feel at the irreparable damage caused to children by some ministers of the church. It is right to ask for forgiveness and make every effort to support the victims, even as we commit ourselves to ensuring that such things do not happen again. But his apology was followed by protests and clashes between demonstrators and police. Many Catholics are angry over the Pope's 2015 appointment of a bishop they accuse of protecting a paedophile priest, Fernando Caradima. In 2011, the Vatican found Karadima guilty of sexually abusing teenage boys over many years. The Pope today represents what we thought was an organization that was going to support those of us who accused a priest of sexual abuse, and yet they did the exact opposite, supporting the image of the church, its reputation, and the aggressors. One poll in the capital found 90% of respondents said they wanted the Pope to meet abuse survivors and condemn Karadima. Meanwhile, others protested the cost of the papal trip, and nine churches have been firebombed just in the last few days. At the same time, indigenous Mapuche have demanded the church return their ancestral lands. In Chile, in Chile, the main problem for the Catholic Church is not other churches. It's atheism and agnosticism, which has grown as a result of the Karadima case, but also because the largely middle-class society is looking for something else. Another regional survey found that 42% of Chileans approve of Francis, a much lower score than the 68% approval given in neighboring countries. Pope Francis is expected to receive a multitudinous reception here in Peru, but he will face criticism over his tardy reaction to a local abuse scandal and accusations that the church has failed to hold the alleged perpetrators to account.